Hello everybody, it is Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, y'all. We made it. It is the weekend. It's Mother's Day weekend. So before I get into my video, I want to wish all of you mommies out there a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. I hope your families will pamper you and love on you and spoil you rotten. So happy Mother's Day. All right, I am so excited about this video. Um, so let me just start by saying, I haven't done a whole lot of unboxing videos here on my channel. I think I've only done one, and that was with um, my Knowles Farm Scents that I got maybe a month or so ago, and that's been the only unboxing I've ever done. And I tried to figure out the reason why, and I think I know, um, why I don't do a whole lot of unboxings because when I get my packages I like I dive into them right away <laughs> like if I come home and I see them waiting for me on my porch or if I'm at home and I get you know a notification on my phone that says it's been delivered I my goodness like I am like a little kid at Christmas I get those packages and I cut them open right away. It's just so hard to wait. Um, Cause with unboxings, you kind of have to wait, you know, you have to, um, you know, wait until it's the perfect time to video. So I, I really think that's the reason why I don't do a whole lot of them, but I really want to start doing more because I just think it's so fun to kind of share that moment with y'all. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, me diving into my box and, seeing everything for the first time. I love watching other people do unboxings. It's just so fun to kind of see their first reaction, their you know initial thoughts and first sniffs. It's just so fun. So today, um, <laughs> if you've seen some of my recent videos, I have told y'all that I have so many things just sitting, waiting to be videoed. Um, I've placed a lot of orders recently, so I have um, a lot of things out in, you know, mail post office land waiting to be delivered to me. But for some reason today, my mailman was super sweet and brought me three packages. That's right, three. And there was one, now two of them, I already kind of dived, you know, I dove into those. Um, but there was one that I really wanted to save for an unboxing, so I have it here. I haven't even opened it. Do you know how much self-control this took me? <laughs> A lot. But I waited, and I am here to share my unboxing with you guys. This is my very first time to order from Harper James. Um, I know I'm kind of late to the Harper James party. I mean, I feel like everybody has ordered from her at least once, and I was like, I've got to do it. So here is my box, my very first order from Harper James. Um, so are y'all ready to unbox it with me? I have my trusty scissors. Um, and I can already see, look, in the corner of the box, I can see some paper worms sticking out. So that makes me happy. So we will just dive into this. Okay. All right. Oh, I like it so far. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, and I was right about the red paper worms. There they are. And right on top is a little card that says, thank you for your order. And on the back, I'll read it to you. It says, thank you for your order. Your business means a lot to me. Your order has been handmade and packaged with care. If you have any questions, please contact me anytime. Happy melting, XOXO, Mary. And then, um, there is all of her uh, social media information, Facebook, Instagram, website, but I will put all of that in the description box down below. Okay, so let me get these red paper worms off of the top. Um, so Harper James, um, 
she offers, I believe, or at least what I saw when I placed my order, um, she offers two different sizes. She offers um, what she calls, I believe she calls these her like um, brownie bags, the little um, six pack of little cubes. And then I know she offers a bigger snap bar. So for my first time ordering, my first go around, I just got the little um, brownie bags. And how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, eight. I got eight, and I do know that these go for six dollars. So let's see, I have an invoice here. Yeah, six dollars, and I got um, eight. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Um, on the day that I placed my order, she was having kind of a flash sale, 10% off. Um, so, eight bags at six dollars a piece was 48 dollars and i saved four dollars and eighty cents eight dollars and 95 shipping so 52.15 my total for eight bags and i do see some packing peanuts here yeah yeah packing peanuts okay so everything was packaged really nicely. So let's just get started with my order. I'm really excited about these. Um, okay, so we might as well just start with this one. This is one that every Harper James video I have watched here on YouTube, anyone that has ordered this scent has just raved about it. Um, I don't know, I think maybe I've even heard that this is like her number one seller. I had to get it. And even though it is technically, I guess, would be considered a Christmas scent, um, it wasn't like, so on her website, she does have a section called like Christmas whatever, but this was not under her Christmas section. This is, I guess, just a regular scent for her that she sells all the time. And of course, I'm talking about North Pole. And I love her bags, I love her labels. Um, scent notes on here, spearmint, peppermint, and vanilla. So I don't see pour dates, um, but as I do with any wax that I order, especially from a brand new to me vendor, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of months. Um, so let's give this one a sniff. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see the hype. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, this is so, man, this is so good. And um, there are two different colors, the red and the green. So I'm just going to pull out a green one with a little bit of drizzle. This, oh, I remember reading a review about this one on her website. And it the lady said, you know, this is something that she could melt year round, not just at Christmas time. And I get that. Um, I mean, obviously it would make a delicious Christmas scent, but this is so creamy. Oh man. It's not headache inducing. It's not like nose clearing. It's not, um, yeah, it's not any of those things. It is just really really good it is the creamiest mint oh that is so good yeah I definitely see the hype on this one now that is amazing um so I am new to Harper James so any of y'all who have experience with Harper James if you could maybe let me know in the comments so like what works for you do you do a whole one of these in a warmer do you cut it in half um, what warmer works best, tea light, hot plate. Just kind of let me know your experiences with Harper James and what works best for you. That would help me out a lot. Okay, my next one is Blueberry. And this one is just all one color, a really pretty blue with some drizzle. Looks like she puts drizzle on all of these. Um, no scent notes on this, but self-explanatory. It's just a yummy blueberry. Oh, that is so good. Oh, wow, is that good. That is a great blueberry, you guys. 
Like, there is nothing else to this. Like, you know, she didn't try to change this or add anything. This is just blueberry, and it's amazing. Oh, and you know, sometimes that's just what you need in a wax melt. You just need what it says, you know? Blueberry, just give me blueberry. Sometimes you don't need all those extra little things. This is so good. Oh, this is not candy like, or it's not artificial. It's a true blueberry scent. That is amazing. And you know what? I can see this, like, obviously, this would work amazingly well on its own but could you imagine like blending this with like a zucchini bread or oh so good i'm so excited all right my next one is bear claws had to get me a bear claw scent for me um bear claws is kind of right up there with pumpkin pecan waffles like if i can find a bear claw that is done right oh I'm addicted to it. I love it. Love it so much. Um, again, no scent notes on this, but we don't need scent notes. We all know what Bear Claws is. And this is a two color one, kind of a dark brown with like a tannish color. That's good. That's really, really good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is amazing. Yeah, I get kind of the yeasty, doughy part of the bear claw. Oh, and there's a little bit of spice because I feel like a bear claw scent, you need to have a little bit of spice, not a lot. Like, I feel like there should be just a little bit of like a, a dusting of a cinnamon sugar. And I get that. It's not spicy though. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a good bear claw scent. Really, really good. <laughs> okay, my next one. I love her labels. They're so pretty. Um, this one is bright and bubbly. Look at those colors. The pink and the orange. And is the weight on here? Yeah, 4.2 ounces. I was going to say, like, this is a big bag. Those little squares are big. Okay, bright and bubbly is lemon lime pineapple strawberry and pink guava i knew in this order i did want to try like some of her bakery but i also wanted to try some kind of fruity citrusy ones as well oh that's good yeah that's really good um i feel like yeah, I'm getting the pineapple, and I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting the pink guava more than anything. Okay, honestly, I feel like I'm getting all of these things. The strawberry is probably the thing I'm getting the least of. I do get the lemon lime, I do get the pineapple, and I definitely get the guava. This is just a, ooh, it's so good. It's a very fruity, tropical. There's something in here that, that wants me to think like fizzy. And I don't know if that's maybe from the lemon lime that's making me think like a fizzy thing, like a ginger ale or Sprite. There's something in here that's making me think that, but it's really, really good. It's so good. Oh, so far, all of these are winners. All right, my next one is fresh baked bread. So I did a video um, yesterday from that Smell Good shop. And in that haul, I had um, ordered something, honey buttered rolls. And I had just mentioned that normally, you know, bready scents are not my thing. Um, but that one, the honey buttered rolls, a winner and when I placed this order I kind of went back and forth with this one um, but there were some reviews on her website about this scent and just talking about how good it was and so you know what is 2023 
2023 is Carrie's year to branch out. So here we are branching out. <laughs> so let's give this one a sniff. Oh yeah, okay. I'm not mad at this. I am not mad at this. I actually like this very, very much. This is not, um, it's funny. It's like, I don't get yeasty in this. I don't really, maybe, I mean, I can see kind of the doughy part of the bread. Okay, but if I'm truthful, do you know what this smells like to me? I'm gonna be honest. This fresh baked bread smells a lot like this bear claw without the cinnamon and the spice. Yeah, because I kind of get like, you know, the doughy part of both of these. This one just without those like the sugary cinnamon spice. It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm not mad at that one at all. Very excited. Okay, my next one is Oasis Guava. And again, like the two colors, it's kind of like a light blue with a pale green. And this is Cactus, Sea Salt, and Pink Guava. Didn't realize I got two cents with Pink Guava. Oh, this is so pretty. This is beautiful, you guys. This is so pretty. I don't have a lot in my collection um, with cactus and sea salt, but I'm, I'm really liking it. I don't pick up on any guava in here, maybe just because I'm still thinking about the guava in this one, how like fruity it was, because I don't get fruity in this at all. So I'm not detecting the guava. I get the cactus and I get the sea salt. There is some kind of like watery note in this that is just so relaxing, so beautiful, so calming. Kind of makes me feel like I'm like at some beachfront bungalow like swinging on my hammock. It's beautiful. Oh man, this, I don't know, like this is giving me bathroom vibes, bedroom vibes, like so relaxing. This would be a great bedtime scent. I'm afraid if I put this like out in my open concept, like it would make me want to fall asleep because it's just so <laughs> relaxing. Wow, okay, two more. This one is saltwater taffy, and I am obsessed with these colors. Look at that. There's pinks and purples and blues, like the color of saltwater taffy. Love it. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Y'all, that smells like saltwater taffy. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, Mary, you're amazing. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> this is crazy. This is so good. Um, when the Texas State Fair comes to um, the Dallas-Fort Worth area every September, October, we go every year. And right when you walk in, like right when you go through the entrance of the state fair, they have their, you know, saltwater taffy stand. And you can actually see them like, you know, pulling it and making it and all that. This smells like that to me. This smells like I'm walking through the fair and I get a whiff of that saltwater taffy stand. It's sugary, it's sweet. There's something in here that kind of smells a little bit like bubble gum. Oh man, that's good though. It, it, exactly like saltwater taffy. Crazy, don't know how she did it, but. All right, and then my last one, this is one that I've also heard amazing things about. Had to get it, um, salty apple and, okay, do those colors not like scream? fall and autumn like the 
goldens and the reds. And then look at her label. And oh, let's see. Okay, this is salted pretzel, mac apple, caramel, maple, and sugar cookie. Wow. Oh, okay. We just talked about the fair. <laughs> this, yeah, this gives me fair vibes too. Um, kind of like a caramel apple, which makes sense because there's caramel, there's mac apple. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna have to, and who knows, like these two, might have to be put aside um, for like fair season because oh when I smell this I think of the fair too oh wow this is so good so good yeah oh the mac apple is strong in here and the caramel between the caramel and the maple I would say I get a lot more caramel than I do maple. I'm sure the maple is here. And like, I mean, I've never warmed Harper James before, so I'm sure her stuff is going to like come alive even more on warm because of how strong it is on cold. Um, salted pretzel. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But for me, the star of this show is the caramel and the mac apple. Yeah. I know, I, I understand the hype on this one too. This is so good. Wow, okay, I'm kind of sad that that's the end of my order. <laughs> I went small, um, which is kind of what I usually do with brand new to me vendors, but if I'm hoping and praying that this stuff performs well for me because on cold, I am blown away. These are so yummy, so nice and strong can't wait to cure them and start melting them so again if you are um familiar with harper james yeah leave me a comment let me know um you know how long do you cure it what kind of warmers work best you know do you use a cube do you cut it in half yeah just give me your thoughts on what works best for you but i am so excited so mary if you are watching Thank you so much for making my first order so awesome. I am really, really impressed, really excited. Um, and thank you guys for clicking on and spending some of your time with me. Um, I wanna thank all of my returning subscribers for supporting my channel and being a part of my wax journey. And if you are watching for the first time, I would love to invite you to join me on my journey and become a part of Curious Collections. All you have to do is hit the like and the subscribe. And of course you can leave me a comment. I would love that. I always comment you back and um, would love to know what you're up to. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your Friday night and I will see you soon for another video and happy Mother's Day all you mommies on Sunday. Enjoy your special day. Bye guys.